well, hello Molly, and this is my first ever style video. I'm Molly, and I'm going to show you how to style one of my favorite new additions to my wardrobe. It's an ivory like sweater material duster, and it's so comfortable. It's a perfect weight for spring, and it's so cute with everything from casual lounge clothes to dressing it up and going out into the world. And I'm gonna show you how to do both in today's video. Since this is my first video in this series, I'll tell you a little bit of what it's going to look like. I'll either take a piece from my wardrobe like I'm doing today and showing you different ways to style it for different occasions, or I'm gonna take an occasion and show you different things that you can wear for that. Or it doesn't even have to be an occasion. It can be a trend, it can be a season, it can be anything. And if you have any suggestions or anything you wanna see, please just comment down below and I'll be sure to put that in one of the future videos. And so I'm really excited to show you these outfits. I'm going to explain them a little bit as I go on and I'm super excited. looking at all the outfits I put together I cannot even tell you how much fun I had assembling them and creating these fun looks for y'all to see now I'm going to um, show you each individual piece and why I chose it so you can if you have something similar you can wear it or um, if you're looking for something just kind of make it your own taking the basic pieces so you can incorporate them in your own wardrobe and recreate some of the looks I did I'm gonna start with the star of the show, my sweater robe thing. I, I can, words are not, I just can't. I love this. It's from the Saturday Sunday brand from Anthropology. This brand I think usually runs a little big, so I got an extra small, um, but I think it's a good fit because it's a good fit for me in the shoulders. You always want to be sure that that seam hits you where your shoulder starts to turn down. And I love this. Um, this was a little bit more expensive, but I know that um, stores like H&M, Zara, Forever 21 have some options that are less expensive, but a very similar look. Or since this one is lighter, you can definitely take it. Um, this is more of a daytime look, but if you get something that's maybe a different material, um, or even black or a darker color, it would be great to take into evening or even a little bit dressier to um, wear into the office on a date night, things like that. So this is the star of the show today and I'm going to show you different pieces, the different pieces that I used to pair with it. So for my first look, which was the denim shorts look, I'm gonna start with the denim shorts. 
These are the ones that I got. Um, they're the rolled boyfriend style from J. Crew. Um, I got these a few years ago in an off season where they were on sale. Um, I usually do that when I buy things um, like shorts, um, even summery tops. You can usually get a pretty good deal. I love the way these fit. They're a little bit more relaxed and I don't feel like I'm being just held in by them. And whenever I wear a denim short, I like one that's a little bit more relaxed in a boyfriend style. And I think it just looks cute with really anything you can wear. A loser top, more fitted top, t-shirt, blouse, sweater. It's just a good universal style that's universally flattering. I also like the wash because it's kind of a true blue, you can see there. Um, it has a little bit of distress on the, um, the thigh area, but I absolutely love these and these are great to pair with really anything for spring and summer, especially if you're in a warm climate like I am in Dallas. To keep it simple up top with my jean shorts because I really wanted to showcase the sweater in this outfit, I just did a um, black v-neck t-shirt. I got it in the sale bin at Zara. It cost me less than $10. Um, I get most of my t-shirts like this from either Target, Zara, or Forever 21, H&M sometimes, and you can usually get really good deals, and I just liked the fit of this a lot, and since I tucked it in, I wanted to show off the belt, which I, I'm obsessed with this belt. I've had it for a few years. Um, it's this, it's from Lucky Brand, which I don't usually go in there, but I saw this and I just loved it. It's a great belt. For spring and summer, I'll show you up close. Ah. There we go. There we go. Um, I love the color. It's kind of a like a beigey um, blush, which is a great um, spring and summer neutral. Um, it has the gold, which is great to pair with it, and it just looked really cute showcasing, um, just showing it off on my shorts tucked in with the shirt and then the jacket. So. Big fan of this. A statement belt is a great way to spice up um, a, just kind of a basic outfit that isn't um, jewelry or with a bag. So a belt is a great different way to spice up what you're wearing and I love this one. To pull the outfit all together, I opted for these gold um, loafer style like menswear shoes. They're super pointy. Definitely tripped the first time I wore them, but I've gotten a lot better in them since I've had them really comfortable, um, not super expensive either. This is just a good kind of trendy shoe that I wear all the time. I mean, I think the people at work think I wear only these and they're just really comfortable. We're a great elongating feature with the pointed toe to wear with the jean shorts. It just makes my legs look a lot longer in a continuous line. So if you're looking to appear taller, definitely opt for a pointy toe and it just kind of streamlines your entire outfit. So these are Amazing, I love them and they were so perfect to go with the gold on the belt, which really pulled all the metallics together. So big fan of these, great way to pull the whole outfit. For the next look, I opted for kind of a weekend casual sporty look. So I had the sweater over and then I did this um, sky blue men's tank top from H&M. I loved the color and I loved the fit of it. I like how men's um, tops fit more when um, it's more of a relaxed look, especially for t-shirts and tank tops. Big, my biggest piece of advice for t-shirts and tank tops would be raid the guys section. I love the way they fit. They're, um, they're pretty consistent in their sizing where women's shirts, you never know how they're gonna fit because they taper in at the waist, but these are awesome. Um, if it's a little big, you can always tie it in a knot on your hip or you can tuck in the front part and do kind of a half tuck like I did in the video. And this is a great tank top. It's great for working out, sleeping, running around. I love it. And I love the color since I have blue eyes, just makes them pop. So I love this and rating the men's part. Gotta do it. For the bottoms on that outfit, um, actually those leggings I was uh, I wore for the rest of the day, so they're in the wash right now. But you can certainly go to TJ Maxx. They have some really cute, pretty inexpensive leggings. Um, I got a pair that I wore the other day, which fit me great. They're super comfortable. And I paid, I think, less than $15 for them. So hit up stores like TJ Maxx. Um, go to different outlets, even consignment stores, where you can find some pretty great pieces um, at a discounted price. And you can't have athleisure without my absolute favorite accessory, 
I love this hat. I wear it all the time. Um, and for Molly. And it's just a great, I think it, it's a great third piece to add to your look. Um, I know a lot of people do it um, on like lazy Saturdays, but incorporate it in your wardrobe um, a little bit more. I thought it was just great with the lighter um, cardigan. It was darker, um, and since I'm so pale, um, it added a little bit of depth to the whole look and pulled in the darker colors from my leggings. So love this. I think hats are great, and this was a great topper to my casual athleisure outfit. For the next look, I wanted to create one that y'all could wear to the office, um, or even if you just wanted to dress it up a little bit, it's not just an athleisure, super casual piece. I chose this Alice and Olivia skirt. And when you hear Alice and Olivia, I'm sure like me, you hear very expensive. And this skirt was more expensive, but I wear it all the time. This is a great investment piece for your wardrobe, finding, something, a skirt, a dress, a jacket, that really says you, that you can wear all the time, but it makes a statement about your style so people remember it. I love this skirt and, I mean, I love it. It's one of my favorite pieces and I thought it looked so cute with the sweater. Just pulled it in and gave it a pop of color um, that was kind of unexpected. I think green is an understated, um, not understated, underrepresented color because it's typically red or something like that, but green is a great, kind of a softer color that I added with the, um, the lighter sweater. Finally, to finish this outfit, I got these, just a short little block heel cork um, with like a nude suede, great, great sandal. I know um, this style of shoe is really in this season, um, so these are gonna be great. They're great with skirts, dresses, jeans, just a great piece to just elevate that style a little bit above flats and create a little bit more visual interest. And if you're like me on the shorter side, just give you a little bit more height so you're not on your tippy toes all the time. So I love these and they were a great color to keep elongating my uh, leg line because they are, um, they're pretty nude for me um, and they're just great. I love the texture and the cork is a super cute detail that was great with the rest of the outfit. Since it is the perfect blank canvas for any outfit, I couldn't go um, in this post or this video without a little black dress. This is a uh, black t-shirt dress that I got from ASOS, but it has the great detail of having the buttons down the side in an asymmetrical way, so it kind of um, goes along the front of my body. Such a great dress. It's more fitted, so it looks um, more streamlined with the um, longer open cardigan. So easy to just throw in on the weekends. A little bit different than shorts, um, but just such a great, um, such a great piece. You can find a lot of these t-shirt dresses um, on sites like ASOS, River Island, H&M, Forever 21, Nordstrom's, especially in this time of year. Um, you could even uh, find one probably a little bit uh, discounted. So I would just check those out. I'll be sure to link it below. Um, I got it a while ago, so if I can find it, I'll be sure to link it below or I'll link something similar. Um, but yeah, I just loved this dress and it looked so cute because uh, the sweater has the heathering in it that's like a dark gray or a black. So just great to kind of offset the paleness of the sweater. And my new kicks. I showed these in my spring haul video and still obsessed with them, still love them. So comfortable. I wore them pretty much all weekend and didn't get any blisters. They were really nice. Um, so cute. Just added a fun detail to the rest of the outfit. I felt super fly in these shoes and adding it with a dress uh, just kind of makes a funkier look instead of shorts or jeans. So adding these cute little tennis shoes to dresses with the rest of the sweater just pulled it together but gave it kind of a funky look and I loved how this outfit turned out. I was really pleased with it and I hope you guys like it too. I loved this outfit, especially adding the kicks at the end. Those are the outfits that I put together for y'all today using my new favorite item in my wardrobe. If you liked what you saw or you liked any of the pieces, I linked everything below, so be sure to check those out and click through to see if you can incorporate them into your own wardrobe. Um, tell me what your favorite outfit was. I'd love to know which one you guys liked the best, and let me know if you have any suggestions, questions, comments, concerns. Be sure to leave those in the comment section below. Also, subscribe to my channel. You'll be, the, um, you'll be the first to know when I post new content from notifications or email. You can also um, subscribe to my blog, same thing, where you'll be the first to know when I post new content. 
Finally, be sure to follow me on social media where you'll get kind of a behind the scenes look of me filming, putting together outfits, even just going around my day to day life. Thank you so much for watching guys. Check out uh, some of my other videos and I'm excited for you to watch this, let you know what you think and continue to post content for you guys. Thanks for watching.